Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our review series. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might not know that we get quite fizzy over a fast forward. Behind me is a fast forward. Escort Mark 1 1100. Now, when this came out in 1969, yes, I know that's a funny year. It had 55 horsepower, but now 211. Now we should probably talk about the engine. Now, this is an 1100 shell. So clues in the name, it came with a 1.1 engine, which produced a massive 55 of the strongest Shetland Honey. Ponies? Ponies. Back in 69, which probably quite, quite peppy back then, but nowadays there's a lot better of engines available. One of them being a YB. Now the YB engine was made famous for being the turbo version, which was in the Sierra Cosworth, Escort Cosworth. In this one, naturally aspirated. These are actually what a Millington Diamond engine is based on. If you're a rally boy, you know that engine is very strong. So yeah, this has got twin 48 carbs, big old cams, very nice tubular manifold and produces a healthy 211 horsepower, nearly four times what this thing had from the factory. So now I'll close the bonnet so it ties in with the last shot. So on the outside, nitrous blue, one of the best colours for Mark 1 Escort, I think. RS front wings, JBW wheels, it's loaded on gas coilovers at the front, decambered leaf spring setup at the back, but with rose jointed panard rod and all those good bits. You've got a Quaife limited slip diff, Quaife half shafts. So all of that matched up to that very spicy engine up front, and it should be the perfect weekend B road blaster walking backwards. It's time to give it a little drive. inside the Mark 1 Escort and it is a very pleasant place to be. Hope, hopefully you can hear me. There, there is a few noises. Obviously there's not much sound deadening. The engine is quite loud, just how I like them, but um, try and, I'll try and keep the engine quiet so you can hear me, but um, yeah, I know it's very annoying. Apologies. My voice that is. Um, yeah, my driving position, I always go on about this, but it is very good. Um, I think the runners have been modified on the seat so it's nice and low. I'm sitting further back. The Recaro seats I believe they're from and a later RS Escort. Don't quote me I'm not too up to speed on my uh, Ford R Recaros but um, yeah my seating position is great. Steering wheel position spot on. Um, the steering feel it's really good, it's manual rack. Uh, this has actually got a quicker rack in it as well. I think it's a Lotus twin cam rack. I will have to check the notes, so don't quote me on that. Um, and while we're on the uh, point of Lotus twin cam bits, this has Lotus twin cam uh, clocks and everything as well, so they look really cool. So you actually get a rev counter, which you don't usually get in one of these. Um, and you get added um, temperature gauges as well. Over this side, Scott, you get battery, you get water temperature, you get fuel fillage percentage, and oil temperature. Or is it oil pressure? I can't see it at the moment. It's oil pressure. It's oil pressure, everybody. I have to wait for Scott to get out of my way. Um, yeah, pedal feel. Throttle is absolutely spot on, linking to those uh, twin 48 carbs up the front. Brake pedal, really good. This has got disc conversion as well. So um, you've got four pots at the front. I think, I think they're just single pots at the back. I can't actually see through the wheels because they're little 13 inch rimmer dingers. The clutch, the clutch is really good as well. So these used to have a cable. This has been converted to hydraulic. So that's a lot better. So. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like you're stretching a cable. Um, so that's really good. All of that's really good. We're currently sat in traffic, so I can't give you a proper little uh, rundown of everything, but the gearbox as well, 
got a wire a type 9 gearbox which is what you find in sierras and things like that got a shorter throw on it as well so that's really good so you can ping between gears really fast and yeah that's the go-to gearbox definitely when you're um, putting a spicy engine in any rear wheel drive escort and it does feel very special we haven't been driving long have we scott because this is the magic of uh television or shall we say youtube um and people go nuts for this thing it's crazy it's definitely got lots of magnets on it which attract very very different people of different ages and yeah it's very very cool it's a very cool thing to look at it feels very special to drive and it's making me quite paranoid actually because i don't want anybody to drive into it it is a very pretty thing so yeah this originally came with 55 of the finest horsepower and this one's got 211 shall we give it a little squirt scott and see how all of those 211 horsepowers feel and sound let's do it scott i see the road in mexico is opening right now I'm going to drop a cog and we're off! It is very good. The speedo, way off. We are not going that fast at all. But, <laughs> like genuinely we're not. Um, but that's down to having really little wheels on a gearbox which is made for bigger wheels. So the gearing and ratios on that are way out. Um, but yeah, this thing feels amazing. It makes all the right noises. And I, we've said it before, but 200 horsepower and something like this is just absolutely spot on. Like it's just enough for these roads. Mark 1 Escort. What's the scores? I mean, that's that's what we've all come for, obviously. Um, so let's start with appearance. This is strong. 8 out of 10. I think it looks great. Colour looks amazing. RS wings, how it's sat, like that level was perfect. Little 13 inch wheels. I just think it's spot on. We've been driving this around for a couple of hours now and anybody you see starts smiling. People are waving at us, whether it's young people, old people. People have been stopping us saying, oh, you learned to drive in one of them. People going, oh, I love the sound of it. Yeah, def it's definitely a head turner. Um, the only reason it's not a little bit higher is that my personal preference. Don't go mental, but I prefer Mark II. You might have seen the red one we did. That was prime escort for me. But yeah, this is probably the best Mark one I've seen. I think it looks unreal. So next up, usability, seven out of 10. Like the Evo we did before, this is definitely a dry weather car. Um, like today, we've not had rain for weeks in, in the UK, that's, that's where we're from. Um, the roads are covered in grit. Wherever it's damp, it is like driving on diesel. It is so slick, so you can't drive the car to its potential. And driving out on assault, it just feels sacrilege. Like this thing is so clean. Outside's been painted, inside's been painted, underneath's been painted. It is absolutely mint. And to be having it out in these conditions, ugh, seven out of 10. Driving experience, again, down to the conditions, although it is high, eight out of 10. Let me explain, you're basically driving it on the limit of grip constantly. It is such a handful, 211 horsepower going through 13 inch wheels on dry tires, it's sketchy. Um, <laughs> it's like such a handful, you're constantly on it. Like I'm tired from how much I've been concentrating, but I cannot stop smiling. It is so much fun. It makes all the right noises. And that 200 horsepower mark is just the absolute perfect recipe in one of these. It is incredible, so good. Value. So one like this, this condition, fully rebuilt. We like to say that on this channel. Um, 
is about 40 grand, which is strong money, but I'd argue it's not strong money. This is a 1969 car. They don't make these anymore, obviously. And yeah, get another one. Um, if you invested 40,000 pounds, that's only gonna go up. And I've definitely got 40,000 pounds worth of smiles. <laughs> so good. So overall, that gives us a very strong eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, I think is really fair and really good for this car. It would have been great to have driven it in dry conditions, like if the sun was out like yesterday, perfect. But today, obviously we're fighting the gods and yeah, it would have been better to give it a bit more, a bit more beans, but it's not our car, so we've got to look after it as well, obviously. And yeah, in these conditions, it's like very risky. But yeah, hope you've liked this video. If there's anything you've seen car-wise that we've got that you want us to see a review on, we want us to do a review on, let us know. Let us know in the comments below. What do you like, Mark 1, Mark 2? I prefer Mark 2, I think I've told you that. Because they're just like the rally boy, like one of those box arches all rallied up is for me like Escort Prime. But this is definitely the best Mark 1 I've seen. It is amazing, it's been so well done. It's like proper. So yeah, let us know in the comments below, did you like this? What else do you want to see? Tell a mate, tell your mum. And yeah, see you on the next one.